defense is good play from the Barbarians at the moment. Took it into contact and set up again. There's Ratu. Sends it along to Pio Tuwai on the edge around the corner. is classy with his offloads. Yeah, just looking to use Pio. As you say, he gets into that position. Kelly Nasoko does something similar or has done something similar for an, on an edge for us. It's that sort of theme that it's a bigger man who can still step and play and brings people off him. Uh, but unfortunately, Kitty Zalawa go on the outside, but a great tackle from Ratti Fulise there. And that swaps it back. Uh, they've now got possession. They'll be thinking, OK, you know, the Barbarians have thrown what they can at us, and now it's our chance. Rato Felice with the throw. Daivalu does well. Good line-up. Good possession. Good quality. Need to move forward. Don't let the Barbarians come at you. That's, that's what they want to do. And as you see, they're winning that battle. We talk about battle of the game line. Rato Felice having to really work hard in that ruck. And now Barbarians all on their feet. Every one of them on their feet. They want to come forward and pressurise again. So Ratu Felice, Daivalu there on the edge, Pio Tuwai runs away from him, has got support on the inside, the loose ball though. And you know we talk about cycles of play in the game and the line out actually started at Ratu Felice in the opposition half and through, through probably just a lack of quality in terms of the passing you can see where they've now ended up with possession to the Barbarians so as a cycle we told that as that's a win for, for the Barbarians. Wonderful insights here from Fiji 7's coach Gareth Beba Ratu from the lineup, very secure. Oh, and they lose it. It's a bit slippery out there as well. Ratu Felice, they recover and immediately attack right through the middle. Ratu just put a hand to his foot there. Yeah, Ratu keeping the ball, going back down this short side. They can see in the pressure on the middle of the field that the Barbarians are exerting again. Barbarians doing well, all seven on their feet. It's what you want to see from a defensive line, not people lying on the floor or having rests, but still finding a little bit of space. They've done well. Forward pass. Yeah, I think it's just the top of the surface has just got a little bit greasy. Now there's a couple of players that have slipped. And it's always difficult when we've got these, these rubber studs. Suddenly the weather changes. This is where you almost need your metal studs to start clawing on the floor and giving you some support. But again, a, a good position here from the Barbarians. Really need to put something in and create some pressure. Feed into the scrum. For Strong the scrum. Okay, they're up quick. Sends it back. They have to recover. Yeah. And that's the risk, you see. They've come up well. They didn't want to give Barbarians any space. Uh, you know, uh, Napoleone has looked for that offload, possibly not a great one. Obviously, he's got to be going forward and looking for the spaces to run into. But hand out in that tackle, just too much to resist. We've got a blood replacement. Cyril Mangale is coming off. And Caminelli Rasaku going on. Both two young, talented players here. You know, 20, 21 years of age. Uh, you know, if, if, if for Caminelli, um, he was a sniff away from going with us to uh, uh, Hamilton and Sydney last year. Really? Yeah, but unfortunately, he had a, a nasty injury in his last two train, well, last but one training session before we went. But um, but probably have got himself capped at that stage and is going well this season as well. It's good for him. So the Barbarians. Ratu waiting for it and just changes the line of attack, but loses it in contact. It's very slippery out there at the moment with rain here at Lawanga Park. Yeah, just we, you know, just that we call it a little wrap around of the Wiri, where uh, Napoleon is getting that ball. Another patina has gone round him, and as, as defenders, you're confused on who you who you have to pick up. And Napoleon has just seen the space on the inside, but the, the retreating forwards have just put the tackle on, and yeah, the ball has squirmed out, and that's probably going to be a bit of a signal in this game, but also in the final as well. That you know you're going to have to look after the ball, hold on to it a little bit stronger. Kick downfield for Rato Felice. Chase is on here, but it's a bit, or oh, just makes it way out into touch. Now the Bettina taking it quickly. It's a good option. Broken field to have a look against. Good break here. Salawa there in support. Peel to Y on the edge. Salawa comes back on the inside. Thought about the offload but lost it. Ratu Felice is an opportunity here. To 
the edge is uh, Daivalu. They come back on the inside. One on one. This is good play. The offload is good. It's brought down though. Set up once again here for Rato Felice with the chance out Why This is the real feedster in this team for Rato Felice. Gets away. Good work. <laughs> Offside play there from the Barbers as Rata Felice picked up the pace again here. They decide to change the direction. A chance here on the inside. This is good play from the uh, Rata Felice side. Pick up again. The support is there for them. The FDS have to get themselves together now. Organize their lines. A little bit of walking going on. Quicker man. Chip through. Good control. Just beaten to it. The Barbarians. They keep it alive. Rasaku from <laughs> behind his own line. Under pressure. Rasaku gets it away. And they're going to go for the scrum five. I think it's thrown forward there. Yeah, not quite sure who ended up taking this over the line. Ooh, touch and go there. Maybe it was Salawa that took it in there. Obviously, that'll be why they need to try and keep playing the ball. Mm. Didn't want to give the scrummage uh, to Rato Felice, but as it transpires forward pass, here they are, five meters out. Rato. Just left of the post. A great opportunity to, 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 to attack from. Rato Felice with a great opportunity here. They send it along, coming towards uh, the edge. Nandungu caught there. Set up once again for this uh, Rato Felice team. They've got the numbers out wide. Their fans in the stands screaming out in support of their efforts at the moment. Comes back here for Rato Felice. Again, they shifted along. The Barbers coming up quickly in defense, looking for some space on the edge. They don't find it. We could be seeing a yellow card here. No, no arms in the tackle. Got to be more disciplined than that. And this is exactly what Ratu Felice looking for. An added element of pressure that you're down to six. Lots of space in behind. A little kick through. The chase is on. Salawa's back there. He gets hold of it. Does well, Salawa. And launches the counter. Play. Oh, a bit scrappy again there. Not sure what that's been given for yet. Was there a bit of holding? Knocking the ball down. Okay, yeah. As the rain comes down, makes it difficult, doesn't it? Especially when you're tired, how these boys are. Absolutely. Got to look after that ball. The offloads become more difficult. To the edge they come, the Barbarians. No way through there, but they set it up. Pure to white. Keeping the ball so key. Comes across, Kitty Salawa waiting for it. We've got six versus six, Kitty going on the outside. Needs to look after that ball again. Salawa does well, very strong, close Two. to the touchline. Yeah, just a series of errors in that last couple of minutes. Somewhat untidy from a free kick to a knock on here. And I think that both teams will be looking to control the ball a little bit better in the second half. They'll have to look at building some phases in the game to uh, retain the quality, but it means getting your second and the third man in, and it is it does stress the opposition when you can do that slightly differently to how we like to play the game here in Fiji. Fewer rucks, more ball in the air. But when the weather starts to come like this, especially at the end of two long days, then uh, obviously you're looking to see that you can make fewer errors and pressurise the opposition. Absolutely. Things have just changed dramatically with the rain here. At uh, Lawanka Park in Singatoka. The two teams are locked at nil all here. The third and fourth playoff. Second last match of the afternoon with the grand final to come. Police Blue up against uh, the Raiwasa Tabiuni side. All the way from the north. They've been the real surprise package at this tournament. Yes, they've, uh, well, they, you know, I, I saw obviously the, the quarterfinals and the semi finals themselves. And in fairness to Rato Felice and 
and Rewas the Tavayuni, yeah, you know, they, they stick to what they're good at, they work hard for each other, they have a good culture about them as two teams, you can see the way they enjoy playing their rugby and how hard they're willing to go and, you know, they deserve to be at this point in the competition. About to get the second half underway, it's been pretty tight in the first half, areas and from both teams and they're locked at nil all here. We welcome you in wherever you're joining us from right around the country to our live coverage here on Fiji One. Two days of fantastic competition. It comes down to two more matches. This one of course with the second half to go and the grand final to follow. The women's competition of course won by Mount Masada unbeaten throughout this tournament. Great kick there by Napoleone but Pio just losing sight of the ball and Ratu come away. Loose pass. Kicks it through. Could work out. Has worked out. In the attack. Great chase back. Needs another one. Great defence by Napoleon Ratu. And again, turnover. Play. Unfortunate there for Ratu Felice. Is and Kitty Salawa. Can he make can he make it? Oh, forward pass. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting passage of play there. We thought Rato Felice was in for all money, Gareth. Yes, absolutely. Great chase back. Napoleon Iratu there you see. Second in there. Comes in for another tackle. Gets the ball. Popped back into his hands. And I think it's that one there. The previous one. I can't see that it's that one. It must have been the first one from uh, Napoleon Iratu that uh, was the one that was deemed forward. And so from what was potentially a promising breakaway is turning into pressure again. <laughs> Oh, so he's given it, sorry, he's given it LAR's way. So it must have been that first knock-on, and then that was followed by a forward pass, which means he comes back to the first advantage. Advantage being to scrummage for LAR. Yeah, I find it difficult calling them LAR. <laughs> used to FDS. Yeah, I'm used to <laughs> FDS. I mean, I, I best I just call them barbarians and make it easier. Ratu there on the receiving end. As they attack deep from within their own territory. Ratu back there in support. Good play from them at the moment. They set it up. Yeah, just lucky to get away with that. I think Mangali comes away. He's got some pace, but he's tracked down. It's a high tackle in there. Could have let that go. But yeah, Ratu Napoleoni, when he got the ball there, he was isolated himself. And I thought that uh, Ratu Felice could have had an opportunity we have a focus this part of the world that we go for the ball all the time sometimes you could just go over the top of it and take what we call take the space and in doing that you force the opposition to be late and the second or third man for your team can pick it up almost too much to resist to go for the ball we call it the Barassi we just go straight <laughs> over the top anybody coming in is not getting the ball because we're there first well, some changes here for this Barber side yeah a bit of energy coming in uh, some young boys coming on the field as well. As I said earlier in the day, Jerry, uh, very pleased and proud of these guiding some of these guys in you know in, in, in how they're playing. Huge experience from the likes of Pio and this guy on the ball, Nada Bettina. Arrowhead formation at the moment there for the uh, Barbarians. They go towards the edge this time, trying to look for some space there. Good work as they set it up here, the Barbers. Yeah, just two easier targets. Needed needed to uh, get away from there, that contact area. Ratu Felice looking to this edge again. Up against Wanangalo. Chip goes through. Nada Bettina comes back in space. He's going to look back midfield. Great pass. Knew the player was there. Now they just need composure. Work themselves up the field. A chance here for the Barbarians as they pick it up. Has to go left. Broken field again. Chuta there sends it along to the edge they go as they try to find some space there. Good tussle and then into touch. Yeah, a bit of a bit of as we call a bit of a sin <laughs> running yourself into touch. You know what Rosaka was looking at, but you know you don't want to give possession back there. You're in a commanding position. They're just on the 40 metres of Ratu Felice. They keep that ball. They keep going forward. They can come back to the middle of the field again or wide. 
and they keep the pressure on Retu Felice to continually defend. Third and fourth playoffs here. It's still nil all. Such has been the intensity of this match. Both sides really giving it their all. Replacements here for Rato Felice. Looks like. Um, yeah, so base. I think it looks looks like uh, both teams are really empty. Their their subs benches to get fresh energy and legs. Up high. Somebody's, and it's somebody's alarm going off in the background. <laughs> Add a dimension to the tournament here, but um, Rato Felice under pressure. Look at the swarming defense coming in from this barber's side, yeah. trying to put pressure just on them. Overly aggressive again, needed to just keep control. It's a good tackle. Rato Felice. They're after each other. Rasaku doing a lot of work in the middle there. They need to get three or four together defensively. Rato uh, on the outside. Daivalu is waiting for it, comes on the inside. Oh, he's gone out into touch. Oh, and that's the yellow card. If he's good, at, if the referee's going to look at it again, no zero tolerance on stopping a team from playing quickly. It is a yellow card and always has been. Chuta. Yeah, it's a yellow card indeed, Garrett. It's the values of the game. I know that people find it difficult to understand, but in sevens, we want the ball on the field, we want the game to be quick. Right. And when people take the law into their own hands and kick it away or throw it away or stop the opposition getting it, all the referees have been instructed that it's yellow card. And that's exactly what World Rugby expects. So we'll pack down here for the scrum. Still nil all, a third and fourth playoffs here. Yeah, an opportunity here for the Barbarians. They've got uh, obviously ascendancy in numbers. They need to be able to use them. Not a good start. Rosako going half forced to go back on the inside. Yep. Uses his physicality. Gets the ball away to Kitty Salawa. Salah. He puts a step in and accelerates. And he's got some gas. Good on him. Salawa has been so good in this tournament. And he finally breaks the deadlock here. Salawa will go in for the try. The Barbers lead by five. Yes, and sometimes it works out your way. It wasn't great off the scrummage. The ball bounces, but as a defence, you're already travelling. As you see here, Asaku, using physicality, gets that offload. Salawa does well, shows the ball, then accelerates. He's not sure whether he's going to get through it, but once he feels that there, like... Obviously, we talked to him about using his pace, and he's done that perfectly there as a big man. The conversion was good from Chuta, so the Barbers lead by seven here oh and that's uh, again you just created that pressure in the game i could see what they were looking for there was a player out there who could retain possession but now you've just given ratu felice what they wanted they've gone back up to seven because enough time has elapsed and they get a free kick so mentally big shift again ratu felice from halfway an opportunity to get back in this game tani there for Rato Felice in the form of uh, the kind of singer lays it back though Rato Felice you got some space out wide Barbarians just over concentrating on the rock area leaves them short oh they weren't far away on that one that ball goes to hand there pretty much there so full time here and the Barbers will take third place Rato Felice will have to settle for fourth They've defeated um, Rato Felice, the Barbarians, seven points to...